we're here in Utah and it's it's got special meaning to me, I guess, on this trip a little bit. This is my very where I had my very first elk hunt was here in the San Juan area uh, with Doyle 12 years ago. That was my very first elk hunt. Yes, I started elk hunting late. Just uh, being a redneck in Pennsylvania, first of all, couldn't afford it. Second of all, I was too busy raising a family. But once I started it, it clicked on pretty good. We go on at least two elk hunts every year. Looking forward to seeing if I can remember some of these hollows and uh, canyons and stuff that they have here. But uh, definitely looking forward to the hunt. So let's go see if we can get them. So they'll be, it's like a transition for them out of the, the tillables and the sagebrush where we can see them. And then you can't see them up in here once they get into that. Morning number one here in Utah. I'm really excited to be honest with you. The rut's on here, so that we saw them bugle them last night. I actually glassed a few of them there with uh, some of the other guys that were hunting. So we had a good night last night, and hopefully today turns out to be a good day. We kill ourselves a big boy here in Utah. We got a big herd of elk we can see. Uh, it's probably half a mile away. Most times what they do, they work up out of those fields. I've been to these drainages to, to bed, so we're hoping that they're out there and as they come up, we're gonna try to get in front of them as they come into the bedding area. It's kind of the plan for now this morning. We got our, our new SIG 300 PRC with us, so we're gonna put it to work today, hopefully. We've already seen more bulls in about a half an hour than we did all week in Nevada two weeks ago. We got a bull out here coming towards us, probably 340 range. We got one right down here. He keeps coming closer to us. But in the background that you guys can't see right here, come off those uh, agriculture fields. Those bulls are just piling in now, coming up into these cedars to bed. So this is really cool. We we may have our seven by seven that we're, we're after up on that hillside. We're not sure yet. We're gonna get a few more minutes before we make a move. There's a pile of elk in here. up on that hillside over there. We're gonna have to start hiking to try to get up and find him. They're starting to move pretty fast already. Good and bad here is when we're on top. We can see probably five square miles with all those bulls on that winter wheat. Once we come down and start chasing this like five fingers, they go up into the bedding area. <clears throat> you basically have to investigate every bugle because you don't, you can't see them when you, once you get down here. So there are five satellite bulls there. A bigger bull must be on the other side. We hiked over about a quarter mile across these ranges to try to get in front of these big bulls. Pretty cool, we've had two bulls up close already. One to 40 yards. That's awesome. I was just asking how far we can really shoot here. There's a lot of talk about 100 yards yesterday. So I just want to know the real number, because we can move. 
we got to keep moving. There's actually going to be one ridge over, so we got to move over another one. So we keep moving. It was pretty easy to keep track of where the bulls were when they were out in the open. And it's gotten really complicated real quick. Which direction they split off? There's like three canyons. So we keep scooting over further, further, getting further, further, but it makes our wind worse. And so it's got to see one of these pop out here. Back bull right there. It just came up over the ridge. Yeah. Yeah. I put for it down there still, right? Those cedars are going to go over there, right? Okay. We got, uh, they're moving up that canyon over there. So we're going to have to move over, get set up. So, let's go. Right where that little raghorn cow's will pop out. It's gonna pop out right behind that first cedar. That's 450 cam. Like, well, the ones that just came out, they're 450, right? Four. Is that him bugle to the left? Face and left. Redemption, eh? We worked our butts off in Nevada. I mean, we worked and worked and worked for four days, and I had to go home for my daughter's birth of my fourth grandchild. <laughs> so we didn't kill one in Nevada for the first time in years. And uh, this is our first morning, believe it or not, here in Utah. And Cam put it put it right on us. We smoked ourselves a big one out there. We didn't want to shoot this far, but I, I couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I tell you a hundred yards? <laughs> God, what do you think? <laughs> we never shoot this early. We never shoot this early. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that felt so good, man. This thing shoots. This is a shooter. Looking good, Cam. <laughs> What do you think Stop. from here? Oh, you look freaking heavy. <laughs> nice shot, dude. I think we did good, Cam. I think you did great. Yeah. <laughs> head on. Gosh, look at this. Well, this is our second week hunting elk. Our first week was in Nevada, and they just weren't running. I mean, we, we went late this year. We went out there on the 12th, which we normally go first or second. And uh, we couldn't get them to bugle. They just weren't, they weren't in rut. So we hunted for four or five days and I had to go home uh, for my fourth grandchild, which was a blessing. And then uh, we decided just to skip the rest of Nevada for the last day or so and come to Utah. And 
Cam kind of called this. He says, we got a couple bulls out in this, these chainings out here coming up from the, uh, uh, the tillable down there. I don't know whether it's winter wheat or oh, what it is down there, but there was a bunch of elk. We called it perfectly. The problem was it was two or three ravines over, so we had to do a little struggle. We had to hustle a little bit to get here. And us flatlanders were a little slow compared to these guys, but we made it. Set up on him, shot a little bit further than we wanted to, but we got ourselves a nice bull here. I don't regret it at all. First morning bull here in Utah, baby. <laughs> what do you say? Come on, I want you to say it again. Look at that camera and say it. Never apologize for your God given right to hunt. hunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah.